Good job yesterday. Uh, man, guys, I'm just telling you, we talked about it a little bit before. Man, the processes, man, on doing the things we're supposed to do. I did not check the activity report for, from yesterday, but man, we sold six cars on this side. What y'all sell over there? No? Okay. Oh, uh, but hey, man, on this side of the street, we're still on forecast there. We're about six, seven units off. Gross is still where it's, where it's been, okay? Across the street, we're not very far off, even though we're down a, a, a person over there. So, man, if we know somebody looking to come to work, man, let's get them, get them in here. We're always looking to add good people. Uh, for last month, pre-owned Rachel. Good job. Salesman of the month. Jay Housie. Jay. I'll put slash Ryan under underneath yeah. there, under the motivating <laughs> factor. Hey, paying attention to uh, using everything to, to our advantage. Uh, one thing that's been extended with Ford Credit Peace of Mind program, okay? That's been extended from new cars to used cars, okay? Uh, so if you finance a certified vehicle or just a used car there, the buyer or co-buyer passes away, they can turn the car back in with no repercussions to their credit report, okay? Just something else to tell a customer, okay? Uh, you know, if you got somebody wanting to pay cash, they want you to do 0%, something happens to you, man, you don't want to pay for it, hey, Turn it back in, no repercussions. You know, okay. They stand behind it. I've used it yeah. with my mom. So. Okay. So we got a an actual case right here. So actual example. There's so, no time frame where that would stop. As long as the vehicle's financed, it's still financed, they'll take it, no problem. Now you said buyer or co buyer? Yeah, right. So if a co-buyer co -buyer, passes away, you can still turn the car in? Yeah. Yeah. Co-buyer may elect, if, or the buyer may elect to continue paying for it. Okay. okay. But you can't, you can there. Okay. Hey, we always talk about selling, man. We talk about uh, attitude when we come in, actions, accountability. Relay a little bit on shopping yesterday. Okay. Mm -hmm. Me and my wife <laughs> go to Nashville Thursday night, drive up in the pouring rain, of course. I got Eeyore riding beside me, so storm clouds following. Hope she watches. Okay. Man, we get there, have a nice dinner, uh, nice hotel, get upgraded, so everything's off to a good start. It really was a, a, a pretty enjoyable day, okay? Went to seven different furniture stores that we already had mapped out to sit there looking <laughs> for a wide range of things. From living room furniture, couches, whether it be three or four pieces, a big round sw swivel chair that she wants so she, her and her golden doodle can sit in that chair, to sectionals, to ones with these uh, cuddle ends instead of a chase lounge or whatever, okay? Guys, point being made. We're sitting there going to all these different stores from entry level stores, a little bit cheaper furniture, to we're in Cool Springs in Brentwood, to some high end stores. Okay. Some that I, I sit there when I walk in and, yeah, you whisper, hey, we're here in the wrong place. Okay. We don't even need to, we don't need to walk through here. And of course, oh, well, we can't, we're here. Let's just take a look. Okay. Moral of the story, okay? You have different people with different excitability levels. Every furniture store you go into, about any store, hey, welcome to such and such furniture. How, can I help you? Uh, no, we're just looking. Were you looking for anything in particular? No, we're just, just browsing. Okay. Some left it at that and left. We had a couple that would check back in about every three, four minutes. Hey, Mr. Hyman, I just wanted any questions that y'all are looking at over here? No, we're good, okay? As you sit there and continue going through the store, as you see some things, you, you start 
Hey, do you have any questions? Yeah, let me ask you something about these things here. Can this be reconfigured or what, what, what's this? Okay. Now, keeping in mind, I got, a, I got a piece of paper about this big with every measurement in my kitchen. Okay, I wasn't as thorough in the living room because I thought this was more of a kitchen table thing, uh, excursion, as opposed to the, to the whole shebang. Okay. So, man, I'm sitting there. Hey, does this fit? I got my tape measure in there. Sharon made me because I have all these alerts coming in my phone. My phone stayed in the car all day. Okay, so I got my little tape measure, measuring everything, asking questions for a counter height table. As you get a little bit older, you don't want to sit as low. Okay, hey, what does this come in? Can you get this in this? What's the lead time? Who makes this? Blah, 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 blah. Couches, man, we're from sectionals to different pieces to the electronic uh, recliner things there. Uh, some with uh, sound systems in them. That uh, love sack or sack of sofa is what I called it. <laughs> okay. It's amazing the different experiences that you got at each place. Okay. We had one lady, Renee. Obviously, I had a good experience there because she's the only one I can remember the name. Okay. Very helpful on the way home. Okay. Now we started this at 10 o'clock yesterday morning. I'm pulling out of Nashville at about 9.45 last night. Sharon don't care, she gets to sleep all day today. Okay, man, we, we got to go. Okay, we gotta get out of here. We're riding home. Everything that we talked about is already in an email. She's the only one. Okay, she's getting an order to, today for a table and a, and a little bar cart, okay? Think about that. Seven other people or six other people had the opportunity to earn somebody's business. They didn't. From following up when somebody's there, okay, to having more than one person speaking <coughs> in the place, okay to email her. now if she would have just got our cell number would she have been able to send us all that information think about it guys was it an email or text it's a, it's it's an, an email, email. <laughs> yeah. okay say no to you. okay say less say less <laughs> okay think about it why do we get different modes or every avenue of a way to contact somebody. On the way home, do you think my wife, after we've been shopping for almost 12 hours, okay, is even gonna pick up the phone? I can tell you that answer, no. Because man, we were getting towards the end of the day. Okay, email, she goes, look, man, this is everything that we talked about. Every piece, we looked at two or three sofas in there, they're in there. <coughs> Two different kitchen tables we looked at in there with the different, whether they're slat back or ladder chairs. Okay? Details. Okay? Very, very detailed. Okay? They want. They got my business. Okay? Think about that, how we apply that to what we do every day here. Man, if we can't reach somebody on the phone, are we making sure we're texting them? Are we emailing? Did we even get their email address? Hey, it's a lot easier to send a big file than to sit there and have pictures that come across in an email. Most everybody can open an email on their phone. Okay? Man, are we paying attention and doing the little things? Selling is selling across the board. Okay, whether it's furniture, whether it's life insurance, whether it's cars or what we do every day. All right. I, I was not prepared to bring anything. First off, you can't find hardly any furniture that you can bring home. Okay, this stuff I'm getting uh, is going to be, one piece is going to be four months, the other one's going to be in January. Yeah. Okay. 
man, think about what we just talked about. Are we doing everything on every customer? Okay. That lady would have been very easy because some of them, man, when you sit there, are y'all from or, or around here? Nah, man, we drove over 100 miles to get up here. You can just almost, here I am just talking to somebody else and man, they just visited Nashville. Where y'all from? You know, they don't. You can sit there and take that when somebody comes in, they're there to buy something. When they come in, they're ready to buy something. Okay? We just got to ask the questions, find out what's important to the person. Okay? I'm no different than any other shopper. I went in. What do y'all do? Just browsing. Just looking. Okay? As we continue on, they're asking questions. They find out. Okay? Man. Whether well, the back of the couch goes straight down, whether it's slanted out, how deep it is. Okay? They're all important features to me. Okay? Just like on a vehicle. People have different features that are important to them. Okay? So, moral of the story, man, you got to have that great attitude when you go out to meet somebody. You got to sit there and work that customer, okay? Like it's the last one you're going to talk to. And if you do that and follow up and send the information and act like you want to earn, earn somebody's business, you're going to win more often than not. And the customer's gonna win. They're gonna get what they want. You're gonna get what you want. You got a happy customer and you get paid. Okay? Should have a great day today. Got a little bit of stormy weather coming in for it looks like a couple of hours. Hey, man, we got some appointments. Today's a big day to determine how next week goes. Okay? So, man, need a big day today? Let's rock it.